will be different between the special prosecutor's office and whatever office of law enforcement. And the reason why I agreed to accept the nomination is that this is a new office. Corruption has done so much damage to this country. In the conflict resolution, it is called structural violence. It's an invisible violence that kills millions without anybody seeing it. Taking millions of CDs for oneself under illegal circumstances deprives people of good health, education, and all the developmental facilities you can give. So what I want to do is to be able to set up a credible institution with a credible culture, which will be able to block the leakages and the seepages. If I'm able to do that, I don't care even whether I am not able to prosecute anybody. And part of the law says that it is preventative, that if we succeed, we won't need foreign aid. I will say, with knocking my chest, that the amount of seepages and leakages at the ports, if we were to close them, our budget will not need foreign assistance. And that is why I accepted this job, to try to help the people of this country to see whether what I started fighting as a child can at least be realized to some extent in the hope that whatever takes over from me will keep the spirit. And so I can go to my maker knowing very well that my colleagues who died during the PNDC did not die in vain. And that when I beat them, they'll say, Martin, you did well for us, even though you didn't succeed. Thank you.